everybody happy tuesday <laughs> man it done got nippy here in virginia yeah it's like winter at night and then it's like high fall in the afternoon so i'm just wearing layers like classic scarf you know your basic uh fall stuff and you know how are you like me and you buy stuff like end of season and you put it away in your fall tote and then fall comes you'll be like i didn't know i had this dress oh i got a new sweater yeah i'm gonna be nice this fall <laughs> yeah i found some tights i bought um and of course we didn't go anywhere last fall but now it's like oh these are new new these are nice i'm gonna look good today but anyway so with fall i feel like i start eating more warmer foods. So I usually pack a huge salad every day for lunch. So when it first starts getting cold, I'm like, I don't want that crunchy cold salad no more. Mm -mm. I made curry lentils. And so I, the batch I made will last me a couple of days. So that's really great. You know, something nice and warm, you know, warm to sell. But it's also very cost efficient because y'all, what's the price of gas where y'all at? My car burns premium gas. And uh, even if it burns regular, it's still high. Like I'm to the point now, I didn't used to care, just, you know, oh, the light come on, I tell my husband, give me some gas, but now I'm just like half tank. I'll be like, hey, 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 honey, can you go on and fill that up for me? Because <laughs> I don't want to, I did that one week and he was like, yeah, let me know next time so it don't get down to, you know, the warning sign. Because nearly, I want to say it was like $57. Yeah. And food is going up, so man, y'all better start cooking at home and using these Pinterest boards for something. My crock pot has earned its keep, let me tell you. I usually use it every Sunday for a meal, a part of a meal. But, um, oh, it's almost like we need two crock pots. Because I'm a vegetarian and my daughter should eat a lot of vegetarian meals also, but the other part of my household is not. So if you want to cook, like, beans and then do something with, like, a meat, because meats, you know, cheap cuts of meat are great in the crock pot. Yeah, yeah cheap cuts of meat are great in the crock pot you know set it season it low and go um so yeah because you know sam's has crock pots on sale but also their hearth and home I ain't i'm not sponsored by anybody but you know the lady and her husband that do the housing thing on tv and they have all the you know farmhouse style i'm not into that anyway you turn a crock pot and make it into so, you know, such a luxury item. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think the um, auto programming and then some of the other things they do to crock pots now, they're not quite as durable. Because I literally had a crock pot. All right. I got a crock pot when I was 18. And I still had that crock pot up to about three years ago yeah what does that tell you and then um when i was married to my ex-husband i got this huge i want to say it was like a maybe a 12 quart it was massive like you could put a small turkey in it that's how big this crock pot was and i loved it because at the time we had our families over a lot for dinner so you could just put like something huge in it set it and forget it you could literally do like a whole pack of chicken thighs in it that's how big that was but anyway i had that crock pot let's see maybe 15, 16 years. Then the top shattered on it one night and I still kept the actual crock part and I would cover it with foil and put it in the oven when I used to cook a lot of ribs and stuff like that because it was so big. Like, it would be so big you could wash dishes inside of it. And I haven't found one like that since. I think the lady that gave it to me, she probably got it off the QVC. She was a QVC addict. But um, you know, stuff like that, it's not made like that anymore. So the one I have now, you know, it's okay, but it's also, it's like just a newer version. But then my um, girlfriend has one that's programmable and she's like, she has so many problems with it. Like the low is not really a hot heat. And so she was just like, yeah, I feel like I need to put it on high and then turn it down to low and then program. And I'm just like, I got this old school crock pot and it do me just right. So I might be on a search for another crock pot. Cause, um, and it's also nice to make a big batch of meals. You can freeze part of it you know and then you get home from work because you know we're all working doors and after school program and school and sometimes you just want to thought something that you've already cooked during the week so it's just smart and it's nice to have a great meal and ain't nobody going to fast food restaurants 
please. People mad to work and you're hiring like whoever for $10 an hour, they don't want to be there. And you can trust them with food you can put into your mouth, into your body. Like, nah, get your crock pot. <laughs> Learn to cook a little bit more food so you can have a decent, you know, leftover the next night. But yeah, just getting ready for um, Halloween. I'm gonna have my granddaughter, daughter, and niece over just to do something with us because it's just so much going on. Everybody's having a trunk or treat, fall celebration, Halloween party. But I'm just thinking it's gonna be so many people out. So I'd rather do something at home. At least I know in our cluster we'll be safe. Um, because they're in school all week anyway, and I just feel like even though you're outside, it's just still people gonna be on top of each other. And people aren't respecting, you know, six feet of space. I got the bus stop this morning, and I'm literally across the street talking to my neighbors and my daughter and I, and when I see the bus come down the street, then I say, okay, put your mask on, have a good day. I, I'm, I ain't into that, man. I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. I can talk to you from literally across the street. That's about eight feet. Hey. I'm not dying. <laughs> I just keep thinking like, if I get sick, like my parents can't even come take care of me. So no. Nah. And then I don't want to get sick and try to pass something on to them. No, we are, no, no. But you know, I know we're all sick of this now, the booster's out, so. I don't know y'all, just interesting times. So I'm um, about to mask up and head into work, but I hope you have a great day. Um, trying to get a walk in today. It's supposed to be really nice, like 70, 76 today. I know, right? I probably won't have this on, but for right now, it is 46 degrees, so yeah. But have a great day. Enjoy this fall Tuesday. Take care. And folks, my husband and I did a thing. We have a label, K&D, Kings Never Die. So we're featuring local artists in the Central Virginia area and just bringing in talent, clearing the uh, path of you know, barriers that prevent artists from getting known. So this is our artist, Third the Artist, and he has not one, not two, but three singles out right now. So check him out on all major um, music platforms, and we're so excited because he is climbing through the charts. He's been featured on Spotify Playlist, and long in the company of, you know, artists you may know, like Kendrick Lamar. So we're pretty stoked about all the hard work and we're looking forward to great things. So I'll have their information in the description box below. with some great light and a lovely full-length mirror so this is my thrifted jacket from jjl um and these dresses i got at the good on a thrift sale so we were able to do some twinning for that day and i'm um, just enjoying this truly fall weather it's a great day for boots and tights and all the great things earlier this year we were using um hello fresh because i had a coupon code but they had one for a salsa burda and gelato mix so it was just one serving, but I made one for us. Um, since I am a vegetarian, I did my version with beans. And of course, with the family, I used roasted chicken that I marinated in taco season overnight. It's a lovely, hefty meal. It's, you know, soothing. It has all the great things you want. I mean, who doesn't love a Mexican dish? So um, it, like I said, we had leftovers for two days later. So it's a really cost-efficient meal. Everyone loves it after a long day of work and school and all the other activities, just reheat it 
and you have a yummy meal. So it's easy to assemble, so just look at all the peppers. I have the poblanas and onions, and it's just really different. Happy Sunday, everybody. Ooh, I'm tired. Ooh, a little greasy. Anyway, had a great day at church, and I'll insert some pictures of my outfits. I'll tell y'all about the deal, so you know I love a good deal with thrifting. So, um, in case some of y'all are looking for a deal, I'll give you a little secret. So, some Goodwills have Sunday deals. Um, one particular color will be one dollar. One dollar. And of course, they have the regular color deal where things half price. I'm back. So, with the Goodwill deal, I ended up getting, um, you know, the mother daughter dresses. I always see them. But you should be like, man, it's outrageous. Like, why these little dresses cost so much? So I ended up finding a dress for my daughter and myself. Uh, I mean, my favorite color, black. So she can either usher in her dress, but we wore that today. Um, it's a perfect fall day. You know, this typical, I call them the old navy dresses. Basic, but didn't have pockets. But I mean, a dollar for a woman's dress and a dollar for a girl's dress. And um, she's at the height now where I can get like a small woman's uh, dress and they'll fit her just fine. So we got that. And then um, I just got so many like really nice things. I got my husband a Raven's hoodie. hoodie. It was brand new, it had the tag on it. LeVar Jackson's numbers on it. And so I came in the house and he was just like, oh, you get some good stuff today. I said, yeah, I got me, he's got some stuff. I said, here, I got you something. I just threw the jersey at him. He was like, what? <laughs> you got <laughs> And he put it on <laughs> and he ran through the house and my mom was like, oh my God, you bought that trash. <laughs> Cause she's a still fan. <laughs> and so I was just like, you know, I should have kept that for myself because I don't have any like really good Steeler stuff. I mean, um, Raven stuff. And he was like, oh, do you want it, baby? You can have it. He's literally peeling it off. And I'm just like, I put it on. I'm like, yeah, looks pretty good on me. Fits pretty good. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it do look good on you. I'm like, yeah, it do, do it. Look in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, it's a hoodie. It's hot. <laughs> I would not be sitting in the house wearing a hoodie. And I can't see myself going to Raven's game right now. So of course I gave it back to him because I bought it for him. But yeah, it's just a good, right, good way to get a um, couple things in your wardrobe, especially kids are growing like weeds. The seasons are all over the place. And just a good way to boost some of the things you have for your wardrobe without breaking the budget. And also thrifting is so much fun. Like I would have never, ever paid full price for that Raven's hoodie, but $1. Was it a dollar? It was cheap, but I'm not, I got it. And then just the things that we wanted, you know, they were very affordable. Also make it a habit if I do thrift some things, you know, bring things into the house, also donate or give to um, other places around here, like in Central Virginia, we have a place called uh, Parkview Mission. And the place I work at, I send a lot of my clients there and they give them food boxes and it's like job readiness skill. It's like a one-stop shop, computer training, resume building. Um, they get free clothes for their children or for themselves. They have interviews, so I send a lot of stuff there. Um, a lot of people knock Goodwill because of, you know, you start learning what CEOs these places make, but, but believe it or not, Goodwill um, trains and gives scholarships to what I call the ABC jobs, the CNAs, um, the RNAs, uh, the CDL jobs, really. Look into it. Go onto their website and look for classes or trainings, and they provide, you know, life-changing skills for people to make great living, not just living wage. The living wage ain't nothing, folks. So, you know, just pick and choose where you wanna do donate things, but it's just also sometimes a lot of these clothes aren't made with anything. Like fast fashion, I'm not a big fan of that. So, you know, I'll pick up a couple of things here. Won't be breaking the budget. And, you know, just upcycle, as we call it. Um, remember back in the day, consignment was a big thing? Yeah, some places are still consigned. You can do great with that. But, you know, it's a good way to spruce up everyone's wardrobe without blowing your budget. But you like my background? Yeah. You know, Amazon. I figure these are all the things that I am. I love it. And I also have another shirt 
a little faded, don't judge me guys. Just some positive affirming things for beautiful black, black women like us, or queens as we call ourselves. But I am making for dinner um, a salsa verde enchilada bake. So, since I'm a vegetarian, mine is completely different. And the oven, they look the same, but um, one has uh, chicken and the other one has beans. So, that's a good hearty meal. And it's getting cold here, so nice meal for Sunday, game day, relaxing Sunday after service, and then um, we'll have leftovers. I mean, it's a pretty hefty portion, so probably definitely to Monday night. So, that saves you one day, right? And then I'm um, getting ready for my work week. And, uh, oops. We have a fall festival here. Um, my granddaughter, my daughter, and my niece, and hopefully my baby granddaughter. Y'all get to see her. And um, just have fun, you know. Everything is so weird still. So we can do that and enjoy each other and um, have a good time. So of course, you know, do lots of sweets and sugar. So it's our cheat weekend, y'all. <laughs> we got pizza. Oh, let me tell y'all how good God is. So I had this plan for uh, making my menu for this weekend. We're gonna do tacos, because everybody loves tacos, right? And um, of course, cupcakes. We're gonna either de decorate cupcakes or decorate cookies. So my sister's like, hey, I got stuff for your party. And I'm like, what? Look at God, girl. Pizzas, uh, no, two pizzas, and two sets of cupcakes. So I'm set. Yep, just heat it and enjoy our weekend. So uh, we're gonna find a couple other activities to do. Of course, our typical Halloween uh, movies. And you know, I'm old school. I like Charlie Brown uh, Halloween. I had to find it and watch it this week. I'm still nostalgic about stuff like it. But of course, find them something that they want to watch. And mainly, they'll be probably just running around and making Wally the game, which he does not know he's part of. <laughs> That's what I love about, you know, kids. You know, they don't, have, they don't need all the stuff that we need. You pull away the tablets and all the TV and stuff. So they get to be kids for a while. So I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday. And I might do a little face mask. I don't know. I don't know. I've been doing uh, some night skin care. So I did have some other products I tried this week. And they were working out pretty good. Yeah, so a little eye care and a night mask, not mask, just a nighttime uh, cream I'll put on. So um, I'll feature those if I haven't shown you those already. Have a great day. Bye. Speaking of skincare, this is an Andalou um, night repair cream. H Defiant. So I got this at TJ Maxx and it's a great price, $8.99 guys. And then I got this um, eye cream, Honest Eye Cream. And it goes on so smooth, and a little goes a long way. Again, a great deal at TJ Maxx, so. Hey, be wise with your skincare. This stuff is not cheap, folks. <laughs> but I'm satisfied with my results.